fighting someone. A lot of angles there on the shooting. Uh, yeah, can you see him? I'm down. not great. So that's not a real, that's a downed person. That means you might have someone going to collect There's a guy next him. to it, yeah. Uh, you got people over. No! Nice! You ping him, I take him down. <laughs> I mean, you saw that person before I pinged him. <laughs> I think just like acting as if you're throwing a grenade has really unlocked long range sniper shots. Do you know, I've never heard you say that, but that makes a huge amount of sense. Right? That's why I suddenly became good at them. <laughs> Someone up there as well. I appreciate appreciate you saying snipe because that is definitely my preferred way of saying it. <laughs> that guy stops at any point. Yeah, got him, got him, got him, get him, get him. That's your pretty well stocked gun. Kind of uh, he's, he's in that place again. Yeah, they really want to die, yeah? Headshot, headshot, headshot. Same guy, same place, yeah. twice. And basically, at, at some point, Notch was going to release Minecraft as, like, it's done, right? Like, we're going to keep updating it, but this is now, like, you know, the main quest is, like, right. complete. And to do that, we have the end, we have the Ender Dragon. And he wanted a narrative for the end, right? But he was like, I'm not a writer, I want to hire a writer who can recommend a writer to write an ending for Minecraft. And this guy was recommended, and they already kind of knew each other online. And so this guy wrote what's called the end poem for Minecraft. Right. And I didn't know this existed. Apparently it's huge. Like, it's a really well-written, poignant piece of work that at the end of Minecraft, it plays for nine minutes and it, like, is a poem about the nature of the universe, right? Wow, okay. And this guy wrote it for Minecraft because it was just a piece of art that needed to get made and he liked Minecraft, right? And... During this, he was in contact with a lawyer at Mojang mm -hmm. uh, about the rights. And they were talking about, you know, how much he to get paid and what he was going back and forth and just... Um, and the way he tells it in his blog, he was just like, well, I'm just in it for the art. So I'm just talking to another guy who cares about the art and, you know, we're just having a chat. Yeah. And he said he's since come to realise that lawyer was trying to nail him down on a price for his work and he didn't really realise, didn't understand it. And there was a point where he like sent a contract and he was like, well, I'm just doing it for the art. Why do I want a contract? Um, change, changing course because of that guy. Um, and so like they were kind of negotiating. They were, you know, he didn't really realise it was a negotiation. Um, and in the end, like he got like an ultimatum from this guy saying like, hey, so like we need to figure this out because we're announcing this like on stage at E3 in like three days. So like, like we need to sort this out. Like just like, you know, take my first offer or it's off the table. Right. Um, and this guy was like, oh shit, I didn't realize I pissed you off. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. Cause he was still in like, artist mode. Yeah. And then they sent him a contract and he just kind of went, well, I mean, I don't want to sign the contract, you know, and just kind of did the artist thing. Yeah. Anyway, Flash forward a um, couple of months, uh, maybe a couple of years, I don't remember. They uh, get back in touch with him and go, hey, you never signed this contract. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, I probably should do that. Went and had a look at the contract, and it was like the worst contract he'd ever seen. <laughs> and, it was, and it was like, at this point, the end poem has been in the game for fucking ever. Yeah. Right? And... He went, again, I'm not signing this contract. This is terrible. This says I give over like all of my rights in perpetuity. Da, 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 da. I'm not signing this. Um, and he realized that that's because they were about to sell the company to Microsoft for like uh. 20 billion or whatever it was. Um, and in the end, they just decided, no, you know what? Like, we don't need you to sign this because we'll consider it a work for hire or da, 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 da. And this guy's been like, oh, fine. And then he's just kind of had this sitting and festering as Minecraft has made more and more money. Notch has, like, 
got the most ridiculous house in the world yeah. uh, and outbid, you know, Beyonce for his mansion. Yeah, the uh, pathetic and, man in his big house. Yeah. And out of guilt, given loads of other people who are Mojang employees, like, loads of money, like, yeah. um, you know, C418 and, uh, like, a, a bunch of the people who were, like, coding it. And he's sitting there like, well, I was never an employee, but, like, I wrote the narrative of Minecraft. I contributed to this game in a really meaningful way. And I get 12 grand because some lawyer decided that was all I deserved. And then all the time he's still a bit like, well, but like, I'm not in it for the money. It's just that you can't have this conversation without having a conversation about money now because yeah. it was the biggest well, it's, it's game honestly, developer purchase in history, right? It sounds like every writer and artist who ever worked for Marvel. Right, yeah. Um, but what's happened is is he basically goes on this line and like, tells all the history and then he was like, so then I went on this uh, retreat in the Himalayas where I took mushrooms and I realised that the universe uh, wanted me to write this poem and there were times when I feel like I wasn't writing it, it was being written through me and I feel like it belongs to the to the universe. Uh, not to me, so it would have been like disingenuous or wrong of me to actually profit from this anyway. But we're in this situation where Microsoft does not own this piece of work, right? Yeah, which is weird. I do. I own the copyright, but I've just decided it is a gift to everyone in the universe, including Microsoft. So I'm not going to come sue you. You can use it. It's fine. I consider us completely square. But also anyone else can use this piece of narrative uh... that i wrote i am giving up my copyright to this and gifting it into the public domain that's fascinating um and if microsoft if, if you use the end poem in your commercial piece of work as the copyright owner i'm absolutely fine with it and if microsoft come after you this is your defense and then he's got like a bit in this blog post it's like hey dear the 1700 lawyers at microsoft like, resist the urge to just knee-jerk this into something. Like, this is the best scenario for you, right? Like, you Let's won't be, get into a legal battle with me about millions and billions and whatever it might be. You can continue exactly as you are, and it's absolutely fine. Don't be dicks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I reckon he'll get away with it. Yeah, but so. yeah, it's, it's a really unique really fucking scenario, right? It really is. Should we take the vote? And I'll tell you what. Yeah, I think so. I think anyone taking him at his word as well is going to be interesting. Right, anyone who's like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to remix this text. Um, I think it would be really interesting to put it in, like, Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah. Poem is here. Well, I mean, the thing is, Minecraft Steve is in Smash Brothers, so... Oh, yeah, that's true, I forgot about that. Yeah. Man, that trailer was, was fun. Um, yeah, yeah, that's where I'm headed. Um, the... Whoa! <laughs> I got propelled there. <laughs> yeah, me too. Ooh, so I have a stock scope, I mean, what's in the thing? I'm going to take this bed kit just in case I need to... Cool. So yeah, I uh, apparently like it's really well liked, and there are like people probably like just a generation under us who really resonated with this poem. And there's like there's a line in it that's like, um, it's oh god, I, I don't know exactly, but it's something like the universe um, is love, and so are you, or something like that. And it's like oh, I've people... heard that, yeah, right. So that is from Minecraft. <laughs> And that is um, one of the lines that he said, he wrote it in the original draft and then almost deleted it because it didn't feel real. It didn't feel true, but he kept it in. Right. And now he's really glad he kept it in because it's one of the things that makes him feel like, yeah, the universe was like moving through me and it was something that I needed to accept about myself, but didn't at the time. Right. And now I'm really glad that it's given people meaning and all this. So like when he's like, I'm gifting it to the universe, it's like, this is a piece of work that's genuinely moved people and has affected people's lives. Like, it's not just him being a weird, pretentious artist. That's really um, cool, man. It's really yeah. interesting. Yeah. And it's, um, it's and a it... work that touches so many people as well, right? In a very formative state for a lot of them. Yeah. And, like, 
the way that he went through, he, he talks about it. He talks about it as basically, I thought I was upset about the money for a very, very long time. Um, but what actually, oh, um, but what actually happened was that uh, my friend didn't treat me like a friend and did upset me. And that's what I was actually upset about, is, you know, being left out of this huge creative endeavor that I had a huge part in. Yeah. Um, but like he talks about, it's like, you know what, if he treated me any differently, like it's a very kind of karmic Buddhist kind of Zen, oh, yeah, very kind of Buddhist Zen thing where he's like, if I had actually been treated like I wanted to be treated and I'd got, you know, two million bucks or whatever I would have got. If I'd been a millionaire at this point, I would have been a worse person today, mm. right? Like my marriage broke up because of our money troubles and that divorce meant that I had to work on myself and, you know, come out of it a better person and work on my flaws and understand them. And if I was a millionaire, we wouldn't have had those money troubles and we probably wouldn't have got divorced and so I would be a worse person and I wouldn't have found my current wife and had my current family and all of that. Extremely mature person. Well, it like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, just absolutely fascinating uh, blog post. I will. It's one of many reasons why we came to the manager after you're like, oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, you know, despite Notch, like, it is a cool yeah. thing for kids to be completely obsessed with, because it's mad creative. Oh, it's great, yeah. And he was saying that, he's like, so many people will just spend all their time in creative mode, and, uh, you know, never... I mean, we're top ten. Um... <laughs> yeah, spend all their time in creative mode and never get any further. Yeah, my nephew's in the creative mode. Not doing much here. Uh, tried to close the door and didn't work. I mean, honestly, I just noticed we had already got a top 10 and wanted some action. Yeah, like, we just like, screw it. Time to find a good perch. He's just opening and closing the door at this point. Haha, <laughs> nice. He's just trying to draw up my sniper shots. Oh, with my gold helmet, I'll get my bullets back a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah, uh, we should remember that. For that was why I grabbed it, yeah. I mean, other than just, it's a nice thing to have. That's basically how I treat gold items at this point, unless it's gold armor. I'm not above a bit of swagger. So bright. Predators on my planet will see this. We are already inside the That's a great line. Friend. Did you get the same one? The, I got the all this tech. Oh no, mine is all this tech just to say hi or you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Replicator incoming. Yeah, it's there just you a go. game in it. Oh yeah, baby. Drop in a pretty good jump take. Half of it just went over the side, so... <laughs> oh, well. Alright. I wonder if these guys are still down there. Appreciate <laughs> it. You are most welcome. Yep. Oh, I got it then. Nice. Fucking love Teamwork. So much. Yeah, you weakened them and then I just pop. It's so good, the, the mark and debuff. They're shooting someone else. Yeah, they're, well, that's not. Oh, so okay, they're fighting the second one of the team we downed. Recharging shield. That certainly made a move. There's another person there. Enemy spot far. And there's three teams there, or four teams maybe. Shield. 
just moved in to get a better angle. Target there's got level three shields. Forget it. Got a tag on him. Red shield on the guy in the middle. Okay, just level five shield. With one more on their team. Forget it's like it. Two hundred meters away. Come stick your head out. There, they've just escaped. That vantage was close. I'm gonna get closer in a sec. There there. Oh, interesting, okay. Over there. Empty my heart. Nice. On the reloading. And they're in the ring now. Yeah. More teams are coming though, I think. Throwing thermite! Taking fire. Why took an idiot? That was fun. Another team near us. Bad. Somewhere around here. We must go here. Below us. Enemy is right here. Shields are recharging. It was a grenade that got us those kills. I threw that threw that grenade in to block one of them, and the other one just ran through it. Making me so proud. <laughs> another gear bag here. Yeah. It looks like it might be it might be safe to, to get if I can stop hiccuping. No, you don't want them to hear that. Oh, they're, yeah, they're there. fighting they're each in, other. They're in a fight. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm glad there's a ground here. <laughs> I just did not look. <laughs> I'd love another Graver. It's an R9. Yeah. Uh, 45. Two other squads left. Just go Let's head back up here, shall we? What's interesting over yeah. here? Come on! I think got an angle! Oh, must be we'll nice. Be uh, we... I'm stuck there. I'll see about half an hour. <laughs> How many shots have I got? Six. 30 seconds. I'm actually not in the ring here, we should be aware of that. There they are, look. Some prey there. Nice to scout it, <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, they're gonna have to really run it's, off soon. Uh, yeah, so gold and purple shields is okay. what they've got. Oh, I think they're coming around this way. Yeah, they're going up on here, I think. Alright, well, I'm heading up there, just for fun. Okay, remember, I can't follow. Yeah. That's why I said just for fun. Oh yeah, we're in top 10, isn't it? Yeah. I got one of them. Uh, they're, they're rezzing, but the ring might come in right and stop them. Yeah. Right, right here. What lies behind the thing? Throwing them out. Amazing. One squad left. One squad. I got no health. Though. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> that was a good nearly. Good game that. I think I probably will click the whole game. God, it's got me probably butchering this guy's Minecraft story. That was a good story though. Yeah, but the real story is probably going to be better. I should just tribute. Right.